Hi guys, this is Charles. I'm one of the surgeons at Southpaws. Uh, I'm just going to review the CT scans and the x-rays of this kitten, 14 week old kitten that we operated on today for a diaphragmatic hernia. Uh, so the kitten uh, presented the primary care vet because the owner was a very astute or is a very astute human nurse that noted that the respiratory rate was elevated. Uh, they took these radiographs and you can see massive enlargement of the pericardial sac here. You can see the stomach uh, passing up into the pericardial sac and you can also see that the um, lung tissue is um, really being compressed in all directions. When we look over at the lateral radiograph again you can see I think that's actually colon uh, that's traveling up into the um, pericardial sac here through the diaphragm so that's colon going up there and the heart is being pushed up cranially all the way here and elevating the trachea. When we look at the CT scan, it uh, doesn't give you a lot more information except that you can see the heart um, pushed all the way up there cranially, and then you can see all the abdominal contents up in the pericardial sac, including the um, gallbladder right here, colon, and you can see contrast within the portal vein and that kind of thing. Looking over at the sagittal scan, um, uh, again, you can see a bunch of liver tissue here, the heart's being pushed forward here. Uh, this is probably spleen right here uh, and colon that's in cross section there. So uh, that was the pre-op scan prior to taking it to surgery. Um, and then if you watch the surgery video, you can see uh, that we were able to reduce all of those contents and move them back into the abdominal cavity. The kitten is awake now doing very, very well. Um, breathing on its own without any oxygen or anything. So um, thanks again for watching and we will see you again soon.